you say this may well get worse before it gets better. It sounds like that's a statement to prepare us for an extra lockdown or extra restrictions. What has lockdown achieved so far on day four? Well, I, I just want to be uh, honest with people uh, every step of the way. We are standing up daily, um, talking to the broader Victorian community through you all here um, about uh, where we are right now. Uh, and where we are today is uh, uh, those additional cases that we've gone through, um, high number of primary close contacts, high number of exposure sites, a very concerning number of very high risk settings. Um, so I want to be clear with people that the next few days um, are going to be so critically important uh, and that includes the possibility that this outbreak will get worse before it gets better. If contact tracing is in hand, that's one of the major ways of, of combating outbreaks, why are we now talking about the possibility of a longer lockdown? We've got 2,400 people in our public health team. Uh, as, I've, as I've outlined a number of times with this recent outbreak, our contact tracers are working faster than they have ever worked before. They are doing a brilliant job, um, you know, within a very short space of time, identifying and locking down uh, generations of, of cases. So they're doing a brilliant job. Uh, but we are, we are seeing, uh, we are seeing today, uh, via the number of cases, the number of exposure sites. Uh, we are running neck and neck with this thing right now. Uh, everyone's doing their very best that they can. The, co the contact tracing team are doing a brilliant job, but right now it is neck and neck and it may well get worse before it gets better. National Cabinet seems to me to be a benchmarking exercise and, a, and a, uh, an area where ideas can be shared. Nationally speaking, why is Victoria talking about aged care again, talking about being neck and neck with, with contact tracing? Why is Victoria a leader, the, the capital for outbreaks and lockdowns? Uh, well, I think, I think that is an unfair question. What we have seen right across the nation are breaches in hotel quarantine. Let's, let's remember that this outbreak that we are dealing with right now originated from a hotel quarantine breach in South Australia. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a fact that all the genomic testing points to the out, outbreak in, uh, in hotel quarantine in South Australia. Uh, now, I've said we would not be in this position, we would be in a very different world uh, if we had had a successful rollout of the Commonwealth vaccina vaccination program. It would be a very different world if we had, uh, alongside hotel quarantine, alternative quarantine arrangements for our highest risk cohorts that travel in from overseas. But we don't have that. Uh, what we have had is a breach after 86 days, after 86 days without community transmission in Victoria, we had a breach in South Australia that has led to this outbreak that we are dealing with right now. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.